let's see how this works. It's been a really long time since I've streamed to YouTube. That's not the but that's not the window I wanted to see. Hey, there I am. Huh. Let me do that. Whoa. Whoa, good morning. What? <laughs> good morning, noobs. Uh, good to see all of you. Oh, Jigglypuff, this is, um, this is the Pure Vessel theme. Uh, yes, and Freddy, I am doing this through YouTube because, uh, I wanted this... If in the event there is Silk Song news, I wanted... I wanted this to be able to go up right away, so go up today, and... If I had streamed this to Twitch due to the affiliate agreement, I wouldn't be able to post the video until uh, until tomorrow. And so I was like, "All right, well, let's let's try streaming on uh, YouTube again." It's been it's been a long time since I've streamed to YouTube, but uh, yeah, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time it is where all of you are. I hope it is not morning. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Oh, hey, Skull. Okay, thank you for thank you for letting me know that. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Jigglypuff. Also, yeah. Uh, good morning, Vietnam. Yeah, good stuff. Why? This is interesting. So Streamlabs knows, obviously, that I'm streaming to YouTube right now, but it also has no... Apparently, it's showing me only stats from my, like, my normal Twitch chat, which is really weird. It knows where I'm streaming, but it's not... Alright, well, whatever. Hey, Arrow! Welcome back to the stream, noob! Well, welcome to the YouTube. You know what I mean. Finally someone else who watched that movie, yes. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm an old enough man. <laughs> oh. Uh. Uh, yeah, Hornet's theme. Uh, that Cordy Pie, yes. I am, I am working on the Shio discussion. I'm... I... I would say I'm about... Where am I in the process? I'm probably around 60% done with that. That's that's probably where I'm at with the Shio discussion. I'm I'm I, I would say I'm certainly more than halfway done with it. Uh, I think <laughs> should should be. So yeah, uh, I can't tell you exactly when that means it's gonna come out. Unfortunately, because I know that after <laughs> after this little event. And uh, I'll be switching. I'll be switching over the camera sh soon enough. But um, after that event, we will. Uh, after this event, I should say today, I'm gonna be going back to sleep to try to recover some more sleep because. Oh my God, this is so early for me. Uh, <laughs> uh, do I expect like different cloak options at this point? If there's gonna be any, if we're gonna be getting any Silk Song news today, I'm expecting just a release date. I would not be expecting anything else. She was best gay icon. Fair enough, I'll take it. However, I'm not expecting Silk Song news personally. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. I uh, essentially I'm here on the off chance that there's Silk Song news, and I don't want to miss it. <laughs> um, so when exactly does it start? It's just in ten minutes. Jelly Jam Jones, hello, welcome to the stream, noob. How are you? 
Welcome, welcome to the first YouTube stream I've done in a very, very long time. Uh, bioluminescent. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Dung Defender as playable character. It would be really... Uh, yeah, Pixelated, I... Oh my gosh, it's earlier for you. Oh man. But uh, yeah, uh, I'll be taking a nap after this because I'm going to need to... And Nudeliot, hello, welcome to the stream. I don't know, though I'm also struggling to catch up with everybody. Um, I, I will admit I'm quite surprised to see the crowd that is here so far. Like, whew. And so quickly, too. Like, <laughs> it was so, I, apparently I'm used to Twitch speed, which is I, I've hit the go live button. And, and then, uh, you know, there's like two minutes of time where there's nothing happening but man i hit the go live button and like 10 seconds later a whole bunch of you popped in which is fine that's cool it was just very surprising hey Sammy, welcome back to the stream my cousin bird hello uh i don't know dung defender i think could have some fun stuff salty gamer hello welcome to the stream noob uh <laughs> yeah that's true for for the europeans in the group yeah it's uh what mid-afternoon I'd love Grimm as a playable character. Remember the guy that made the Grim Child brushing animation from Discord? He made a walking animation for Grimm. Yeah, Kuba, hello. Welcome to the stream. It has been it has been a very long time since I've streamed to YouTube. But uh yeah. Oh. Hey, amazing creeper. Welcome to the stream, noob. How are ya? I certainly recognize, I, I must admit, it's, it's, I, I recognize a lot of names from, uh, from comments on videos at this point, um, which is about the best I can do at this point, because, uh, for, you know, a, a great reason, there's 11,000 of us now, which is, uh, pretty awesome. Uh, so it's, it, I, I, I try to keep, I try to keep track as best as possible. Yeah, it's currently one uh, near two-ish for me here in England. Fair enough. You're very welcome, salty gamer. I'm very happy to hear that it's been that it's been that my guides have been helping. <laughs> no, remember me. Remember me. Uh, Bioluminescent favorite boss theme is pure vessel theme. Um, called dibs on saying absolute radiance. God it took me ages to beat her on practice. That's fair, creeper. That's fair. Absolute Radiance is nuts. I've only... I've only beaten her once in the Pantheon of Hallow Nest. I've beaten her once in Attuned... Okay, no, I think I've beaten her a couple of times in Attuned. But I've only beaten her once on Ascended, and I still have yet to beat her on Radiance. Radiant. <laughs> Radiance mode of Absolute Radiance. Hello, Tape. Welcome. Um, yeah, yeah, Pixelated. It's, uh... Like, uh, to, to those of you who comment a lot on my videos, it makes it a whole lot easier to just to be like, oh yeah, I see your name all the time. Oh, well done, Hypersonic. I'm reaching 112%. Fantastic. Good for you. Pure Vessel can be a pain, yeah. Um, Jelly Jam, I... I I would I've always thought about doing that with Bloodborne because I love Bloodborne. Uh, it's a fantastic game. We're gonna we're gonna switch over to this so we can have this going. Uh, I'm gonna move chat over here. Gosh, it's so teeny over here. Um I would like I would love to do that for Bloodborne. At the moment, I don't even remotely have the time. Like I would, I would love to do that for Bloodborne, um, just because I love Bloodborne so much, and many of the boss guides that I see for just about any game these days doesn't really do what I do with them. And I think it would be great to do that with Bloodborne, though Bloodborne would end up taking a lot of time, uh, mainly because I would want to go into the descriptions of like this is what you want to do. You know, if you're going for a strength build, do this. If you're going for a skill build, do this. If you're going for a, a quality build, 
do this arcane blood you know i would i would go into the details of like every single weapon which would be or at least every type of build and the strategies for it so like instead of doing what i'm doing now which is like trying to beat a boss and then like i can reload and come back and reload and come back i'd have to like make four yeah strength skill five strength skill squal qual quality um you know but it, it it would be a lot unfortunately i would love to do it but it would be a lot like i even wanted to do it for dark souls 3 but it's just oh, the <laughs> and i just don't have the time right now um you know once we get to like you know somewhere in the order of like a few hundred thousand uh members in the league of noobs i i might be able to make enough where i can hire some other people to help me and then we can start going kind of crazy with that but we got to get to that hunt few hundred thousand uh, absolute, uh, yeah, absolute radiance on radiance is, yeah, not to still maintain that B rating abstract only because of some kind of celestial alignment. That's fair, sale me, I'm at 106%, I'm doing some bindings right now. Oh, wow, QWERTY, good for you. So many games, oh, yeah, yeah, so many games. Are you going to stream Breath of the Wild 2 when it comes out? Absolutely, Arrow, absolutely. Breath of the Wild has been such a fun game. I will absolutely be streaming that. We'll turn off the music, this way there, we can eventually get to this, uh, get to this broadcast uh we can just yep <laughs> it's okay jigglypuff i also appreciate that youtube showed me the comments so i could be like huh um i would suggest doing the boss discussion on undertale but at this point they're like 50 for each boss yeah undertale is a ton hey kato welcome back to the... i wait are i'm uh, i am assuming you are the same kato as the kato of twitch sides of things um but uh yes James Bloomfield, hello, welcome to the stream, noob. Uh, yeah, Jujo, we are we're we're hoping for some Silk Song news. Hoping I got bored of Breath of the Wild for about an hour playing it. That's fair. That's fair, Anne. It happens. I can understand that. It's a very and it's also it's also a very different presentation of a, of a Legend of Zelda game. So I can I can. No worries. I had a lot of fun with it. I really enjoyed Breath of the Wild. Um, I thought. I, I, there are certain things I definitely hope they don't bring back in Breath of the Wild 2, <laughs> weapon durability, and uh, if they don't do that, then uh, it should be great. I do also really hope we can actually play as Zelda. That would be, that would be uh, pretty, pretty awesome. That'd be pretty awesome. Uh, I am indeed the same Kato. Oh, well then welcome back, Kato. It's good to see you. <laughs> I am exceptionally tired. <laughs> Um, will I be doing more YouTube streams? It's a good question, Jelly Jam. I'm, uh, you know, this, this was a bit of like a, a, a bit of a test. Are you gonna, is this starting? I mean, it's, it's still saying it's live. Let me, let me refresh this. Um, and see if anything's happening. Nope. Still not hearing anything. So, uh, you know, it's, it's still not technically seven. So who knows? Maybe that's why it's not up yet um but this uh, so it's 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 very possible jelly jam it's very possible that there might be more uh one of the things that is kind of stopping me from doing that for sure is the fact that then that puts all of my oh here we go here we go y'all able to hear that oh okay zaquata can do that all right looks like you're able to hear that let's let's go full screen Beautiful. HBK, yeah, it's fair enough, Noodle Hot. <laughs> Takes forever. I beat the true final boss on the first drop. It absolutely rains with my soul and mine. Yeah, that's fair by Illuminescent. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Indie World. A look ahead at some great indie games coming to Nintendo Switch. I'm Kirk Scott, your friendly neighborhood indie guy, and this. Kirk, you're a disembodied voice. Whoa. So am I. You get used to it. Now, tell the good people who you are. Right. I'm Katie Casper, the friendly gamer. Now let's talk games. Okay, Katie Casper. Oh. Risk of Rain 2. This is a game I have not I've not played the first one either. 
I mean, this looks really cool. Like, what? What is this? So it's looking like a looking like a roguelike. Huh. Okay. Throw in an extra dimension, and a classic roguelike becomes a whole new experience. You can go it alone or squad up with up to three Ooh. friends to battle monsters, yeah, score right, a village, and escape the planet when Risk of Rain 2 lands on Nintendo Switch this summer. Who knew you can muster up a heartwarming adventure on Thank a post-apocalyptic continent? Well, Chucklefish is making it happen in East. Thank you, Hypersonic. Gotta turn it up a little bit. Okay. I can do that. There we go. It's a hard roguelike shooter. Uh, Jelly Jam I have not. I've not played I have not played Rainbow Six Siege. Oh, this looks adorable. Oh, I, I love this uh, I love this look. This is a, such a lovely style. Yay, and there's an there's an old man character. Hello, you young kids! Oh goodness. Frying pan confirmed as a weapon. Always a positive when a cast iron frying a pan is confirmed. A secret underground facility might seem like a strange place to find a young girl. But when the two of you explore the wonderfully weird world above, things will only get stranger. Will you uncover the truth of her origins? Find out when Eastward comes to Nintendo Switch in 2020. Well, Jelly Shoot Jam, em, I'm very happy to em, hear that. Smash em. Thank in you for saying finger, so. You can do all that and more. What? Oh. I actually saw this on the Completionists. Uh, Stream just over this weekend. Okay, that's an amazing cast. That is an amazing cast. This is a very interesting styled, uh, very interesting styled bullet hell. Wow, it's a lot. That's a lot of music, but uh, wow, wow. Freedom Finger <laughs> Old blasts its way onto Nintendo yeah, Switch right? later this year. <laughs> Every dark fairy tale has yeah, its Yeah, that that completion stream was uh, game, over the weekend. Just be you. some cool environments. Oh, big puppy! Oh. Huh. All right. <laughs> Roblox, yeah, right? Hey, Sai, welcome back to the stream. How are you, noob? Making friends with wild creatures is only the beginning in this fairy tale forest come to life. Roke will tell its tale on Nintendo Switch this winter. Okie dokie. I say it's about time we grab ourselves some treasure, uncover some secrets, and fight some monsters. Now who's with me? Feel free to bring your friends. Not actual gameplay, additional games and systems required for multiplayer mode sold separately. Torchlight 2. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Hey, Royal Guard. Char, how are ya? Loot laundry. Well, that's adorable. <laughs> I 
Well, this this fun like a uh, like almost a like a Diablo game that you can have on your Switch. That's kind of cool. Coming soon to Nintendo Switch. Wow, that's only like two weeks. That's two weeks. Hey, Kazoo! Welcome back. Me? Yeah, but now it's thing? another Diablo. In my mid nineties dreams. Wait, is Diablo but skateboarding three on are a Switch already? For many players who've never touched a board. And the next Wonder how the multiplayer will be for that. Here. Oh, what? Hmm. Total board control. You actually, you actually play it with your, uh, your, your switch. Has to be undocked to play this game because you use the switch as your board. <laughs> huh. It's a very interesting idea. I wonder how they're, I wonder how they're handling that. Gaming system sold separately. Control this advanced, you can perform your tricks your way. The possibilities will be off the chain when Skater XL grinds onto Nintendo Switch in 2020. The possibilities will be off the chain. When life gets you down, defy gravity. Like, oh man. Ooh. Oh, oh man. <laughs> This is a bit much for me this morning. Oh my gosh. What? Oh, wow. Whoa, this game looks nuts. Oh. This looks really cool, but I think it's a bit early for my brain to be dealing with this sort of uh, orientation changing. Whew. This looks like a very fun platformer. Oh, and I like that. Okay. So, like, the paint is kind of your health, so it's just this natural representation of your health. Whoa. They said these are doing better than Activision's. Tony Hawk's plays as the board simulator. Things from a whole new perspective as you rebuild the world to your liking. Turn your world upside down when the mind-bending puzzle adventure Europa comes to Nintendo Switch later this year. That looked kind of cool, though. Yeah, rip, is it rip brain here, indeed. Or is this next game just <laughs> right, turning Kato? up the heat? Pi OS. That's a brilliant name, actually. Oh wow, Super Hot comes back. Or I should say comes to Switch. Super Hot. I'll admit, Nintendo Switch has a just the fact that the Switch is so so portable and just has so many games. Like it's just do that's just doing so well. Oh, I'm sorry. Are they showing? Are they showing us using the switch as the camera? Whoa, that was trippy. Hey, it's Fat Cat. Hello, welcome to the stream, noob. Hmm. Get yeah, ready to shoot, it's, it's the one where time only moves when you move. Way yeah. A world where time only moves when you do. Because Super Hot will release on Nintendo Switch today. Whoa. Okay, that's the multiplayer cool. tower defense gameplay that popularized the original Dungeon Defenders is returning in a brand new game. 
dungeon defenders awaken them. Oh, it moves real slow. Okay. Additional accessories required for multiplayer mode, sold separately. You gotta read the small text. You always gotta read the small text. It looks like... So this is kind of cool, because it looks like it's a, a dungeon defender type game, but you actually get to be an active participant. It's not Travel just back in put time towers. To where the series began in this brand new story. And speaking of time, Dungeon Defenders Awakened will launch first on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive in February of 2020. Well, all right then. Oh yeah, and absolutely like Jelly Jam. Go nuts. Sometimes you need a vacay, but you just want to play games in bed. Your dream holiday is just a moment away, thanks to the latest game from Shinin. Oh my gosh. The Tourist. With a Y. So you know it's cool. It's got a bit of a 3D dot game heroes look to it. Rather than specifically like a Minecraft look, this is more like kind of an elevated 3D dot game heroes. And that was a that was a kind of a cool game. It's a definitely not a not a huge selling game on uh, on the PlayStation 3. But it was pretty cool. Oh man, for a moment I thought the in-game mini-games were going to have a better resolution than the uh, the game itself. That would have been kind of funny. Uh. Wow. I'll admit, this game looks like it's huge. And it's a cool art style. I like this. I, I like this kind of style where it's pixelated, but it's like exaggerated pixelated. <laughs> Though that poor guy did look like he just vomited up that the uh, the rope. Like Sanctuary more of doing the homework here now. Welcome back, Arrow. Holiday simulator. Hey, Iro, welcome back to the stream, noob. Shenmue Minecraft. Feeling the big room EDM, yeah. <laughs> well, that was a crazy time, wasn't it? Yes, sir, it was. You Let's go. The trip you always Let's go wanted home. When the tourist comes to Nintendo Switch this November. I'm always looking for an action-adventure game that changes stuff up. Here's one that lets you swap not just weapons, but body parts too. Oh my goodness, what is this? What I see is what to fetch. Who's there to save us now? It's a skeleton. Stellar boy. What is this? <laughs> the, this music's already got me. Master all the weapons. Reconquer the kingdom. Whoa, oh man. Whoa. And save it once again. So December 3rd, this kooky game comes, comes to Nintendo gameplay Switch. Skellboy hits Nintendo <laughs> Switch on December 3rd. I still kind of wish that dragons were real, but in yeah. Earth Knight, they're not just real. Just move to save They've up for a Switch. Yeah, I'm praying for Silk Song just by being an Should atheist. Should I feel bad? <laughs> really huge. Ooh. What? What? Whoa! Is 
Did she just punch a dragon? She absolutely just punched a dragon to get its tooth. I don't know exactly what's happening in this game, but, whoa, but I want to see more. What in the world? Just punch that eye out. I mean, there's not much, there isn't too much left of 2019. Can you end the dragon apocalypse? Hey. That's your destiny to fulfill. Ooh, I got a message. Whew. Hey, I didn't order anything from any bakeries, man. Katie, did you order some cookies? Cookies? Wait, I think I know what's going on here. And it's better than cookies. <laughs> what? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, the Hotline Miami collection. I was like, oh, is this a new one from Devolver? This is going to be trippy. <laughs> I like dragons. Humans are ruining the planet. It's true. It's true. Don't do drugs, kids, right? Yeah, it looked like, a, it looked like an auto-run platformer of some kind. And you get to ride cows and and jump amongst dragons and punch dragons in the face at the end and you get to transform into something and it was very cool both games in the hotline the dragons haven't ruined our economy yet <laughs> you can savor every bite of this brutal action sooner than you think the hotline miami collection it's been very interesting nintendo to see switch the switch on nintendo eShop today. not just be like Man, essentially talk family about game friendly. hype overload. But believe it or not, there are even more great indie games coming to Nintendo Switch in the near future. What she said. Check these out. Oh. September 26th. Blasphemous. Whoa. All right. Looks like a pixel souls like Salt and Sanctuary close to the sun. 2019. Cause I realized my cam my camera is blocking those, so I'm reading them out loud now. Cat Quest 2, Fall of 2019. What the? Oh, that's adorable! Oh my god! Spirit Fairer, yes. Spring of 2020. Yay! This is a game I'm so excited about. Saw that at E3 and just went. Ooh. Trine 4, The Nightmare Prince. October 8th, 2019. Creature in the Well, September 6th. So just a couple of weeks. Huh. It's a cool looking Hyper Light Drifter kind of thing. One Finger Death Punch 2, December 2nd, 2019. Best Friend Forever, February 14th, 2020. Oh my god, it looks like a, some sort of dog visual novel. Fogs, early 2020. Fogs? Fogs. What? I... What the golf? Winter. What the... Kind, 2019. What? Hypercharge, unboxed. Winter. It's not looking good for a Silk Song release date. Northgard, September 26, 2019. Sp 
Sparklight, Fall of 2019. Gosh, there's so many cool things coming. So many cool games coming. Munchkin, Quacked Quest, Fall of 2019. Do you mean they turned the card game Munchkin into a video game? Huh, well that's a thing. I'm afraid our video is coming to an end. Oh. On behalf of Nintendo, I'd like to thank all the developers for bringing Team their Jerry! To the Switch. I'd love to say goodbye, but guess what? We've got one more thing to show you. What? Take a look. Oh, uh, okay. All right. All right, it's not Silk Song, but it's Ori and the Blind Forest related. Uh, could have, could have, could have been Silk Song, but this is still good too, because Ori and the Blind Forest is still a really good game. Not sure if this is Will of the Wisp news or if this is like a uh, Blind Forest remaster. Okay, yeah, Ori and the Blind Forest Definitive Edition. Such a good game. Goodness, they are just they are just putting in so like these clips are coming so hot and fast that even I've played this game and I'm still like, wow, what is going on? Hey, Pat, welcome back to the stream, noob. How are ya? Yeah, I mean, that's still cool. I mean, more people get to play Ori. September 27th. So, uh, about five weeks. Yeah, five-ish weeks. So that's cool. Well, that looks like... Looks like that was everything. No Silk Song. No Silk Song. Unfortunately, maybe if I play it on Switch, I won't have any lagness. Uh, but yeah, it's true. There's there's a there's a ton of cool cool stuff coming. Like that was that was a really fun showcase. There's some There's something for everyone. Uh definitely seemed to be something for everyone there. That was really cool. Uh very exciting to see that. Wish there had been some Silk Song news, but uh apparently not. Apparently not. But, uh, yeah, it was still fun. I won't allow this stream to end. <laughs> yeah, still still good stuff. Oh, jeez, my framing. My framing. Why, why did you why do this to me? Why do this to me? Why do this to me, Streamlabs? All right, Hypersonic, I appreciate, I appreciate you swinging by. Yeah, right? Back to bed. Yeah, pretty much. Back to bed, everyone. That's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. Uh, yeah, Team Cherry's still on that cherry time. Wonder what kind of pun corny joke that would insert in front of a Silk Song release. Yeah, true. Yeah. No, no. It, I mean, I'm not I'm not, ask, I'm not. asking Team Cherry to be faster or something. I'm not asking Team Cherry to be like, Get this done! How dare you! Um, it was just, I was, I was hoping for a little bit more news. Just a little bit more Silk Song news would have been would have been great. Your fave was Europa. That's fair. Ari Ori Silk Song Secret confirmed. Yeah. Nintendo gonna get a lot of gonna get a lot of money. It's true. They got all those good things. Miss most of it. I'll watch it from the beginning. Fair enough, Pat. Uh, this will once I end the stream. This will be up. Uh, somewhere on my YouTube channel. So um, you'll all be able to check this out. Gotta mess with it a little bit to get the timings and stuff. Uh, Toy Box Shooter reminded me of the Army Man games for the PS1. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, boy, there's a there's an old reference, huh? Um, let's see if this, oh, I didn't save it. That's on me. Okay. Well, anyway, um, I appreciate all of you showing up today. I know it was a bit of a weird thing to be doing this on YouTube, but I appreciate it. I hope you all had fun. Um, 
I'll be back on the, I'll be in the discord for the rest of the, you know, for the rest of the week. And then I'll be back for now. I will be back on Twitch streaming, uh, this Saturday, finishing up shovel Knight. But the question is, will he play any of these games? He might, he might really, it all kind of comes down to funding, honestly, <laughs> uh but he might yes um <laughs> twitch uh jake jigglypuff twitch my my twitch name on is just is uh this that's that's who i am on twitch uh fairly simple yeah not grim sorry no no silk song news but thank you again so much uh be good to each other be good to yourselves and i will uh, i will see you later so take care noobs